Good afternoon. That board, that board really, really needed to be cleaned. What was happening was I, I would have lots of people like hanging out on the couches talking and we'd be doing science and I only had like, like, like this much space to write and draw and doodle and it became a nightmare. So it was time, it was time to clean house. I have designated a spot on the chalkboard that is only for doodles. Today is a perfectly average day. I am working on a paper. I went to a really awesome talk by a former undergrad here. He gave a really awesome talk about our galaxy and how the chemical abundances of stars are different and how we might track the evolution of our galaxy and how it was formed uh, by looking at the different chemical signatures in each and every single star. Really, really cool. We thought of some cool ideas. I think there might be a cool collaboration there. Tonight I've been invited to come speak at the Astronomy on Tap uh, event. Brett Morris asked me to come talk about Gaia, which if you've watched this channel, you know I have no shortage of cool things to say about Gaia. So no problem. So right now I'm working on slides for my talk, which will be a highlight reel of how Gaia does its thing and the awesome stuff that it's found. Uh, it should be about a 20 minute talk, should be kind of fun. Let's see, in other news, uh, the design of my office space is finally coming together. I finally moved all my stuff out of my other office at Western, and other than a hard drive and a couple odds and ends, I am basically fully moved in here. I find that my productivity is really tied to the environment that I'm in. I need times when things are quiet, so I have good headphones that can block out the noise. And then I need times when I can talk to people and I can sketch ideas on the board and we can dream and think and, uh, and write. And that's what this whole space behind me is all about. So right now we have a couch, we have like the love seat and the chair and the little coffee table. But this whole space is meant to just be a place for me and other people to talk and be productive and come up with ideas. I'm really excited about this coffee table as well. I get lots of stickers at conferences. I mentioned this at AAS that I love to collect stickers at conferences, uh, but I don't like putting them everywhere. I, I like things sort of tidy and sleek. And so I gave myself a restrained piece of real estate to just go nuts with stickers. Um, it's mostly astronomy, but there's also like a few coffee shops. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. I'm, I'm excited about it. It also actually is a stool. And so you can sit on it and uh, it means we have an extra chair. Worrying about space, worrying about areas to collaborate is all part of my mission here at UW. I have funding to be here for about the next four, four and a half years right now which is great, which is a level of stability and sort of a runway to get things going. But at the same time, it's only three, it's only four and a half, it's not infinite amount of time to do things. So I gotta think a lot about what I wanna actually be working on and what I wanna be doing in five years. So I'm at sort of an interesting transition moment in my career where uh, as part of that, I'm thinking a lot about what am I good at? What, am I, what do I enjoy doing? What are the things in my job that bring me meaning and that I actually wanna be working on? Uh, and a big part of that for me, uh, a huge priority for me, is mentorship. It's working with people, it's collaborating, it's empowering people to do science and to do projects and to better themselves in their careers. So I've been trying to like set myself up uh, to be a mentor, to be a collaborator. So I've been having coffee with people, as many of like the graduate students and people around here as I can to get to know them, to hear what's working, what's not working, to see if there's things that we can work on together or if there's ways that I can uh, make their work better. I'm also thinking about organizing meetings and maybe a recurring group meeting that I lead uh, that talks about various astronomy topics that I'm interested in, but also like puts an emphasis on productivity and collaboration and grant writing and writing papers. Talking about sort of the discipline of doing astronomy, the, the practice of astronomy as a discipline and not just the actual science itself, uh, but talking about the writing, talking about the productivity, talking about the career trajectories and decisions that we have to make. I have a lot more to say about this but it boils down to a human-centered project and mentorship design. Hopefully I'll be able to explore this a little bit more uh, in these videos. All right, I gotta finish making this talk. All right, we're back at Peddler Brewing once again for another edition of Astronomy on Tap. I am talking in about a half hour. It's time to get a quick drink, relax, talk to some people, and then talk about science. All right, it's filling up. Looks like it's gonna be a full event tonight. Exciting. Number 39.
We've had a lot of astronomy on taps. Yeah, that's a lot of success. It's a full house. I'm pretty pleased. You can never quite tell based on Facebook <laughs> RSVPs, but it, it, it looked good this week and it turned out good. Do you get nervous? I don't get nervous speaking. I do get nervous that people won't show up. Yeah. That hasn't happened yet. So, I think I should learn by now. It's been three years. Three years. We're doing okay. Three years. Proud of you, man. You ready for your talk? I'm ready. You're going on in 15 minutes. 15? I go on now. Welcome, everyone, to Astronomy on Tap. Welcome back.